what's up everybody this is louis sharon and i just have a <clears throat> a video i've been wanting to do for a while um this is the ipad mini one uh four years later so we're approaching almost exactly the four year mark and on the ipad one it came out november 1st 2012 and the question is is this thing is this thing something people should still use today uh, you know, if you're in the market for an iPad, should you should you buy this? And just to start off, this thing, if you leave the settings uh, like it is when you pull it out of the box, um, you're going to have some issues uh, with speed and stuff. So you may notice the dock down here is gray. Um, and as you can see just there, there's a little bit of delay when you're opening apps. And it's not super fast, but this one... Um, I was actually able to pick up off eBay for seventy dollars. So, and there is a there is a slight crack up here, but I actually have a case right here, which I was bought for five dollars, and it covers up the crack. You can't even see it, so not a big deal. Doesn't affect the performance of the iPad whatsoever. So, if you want to speed up, uh, you know, just to start off, you should do this. If you are using an older device, um, you're going to want to go into your uh, you're gonna go in accessibility, general accessibility, and I think I just completely passed it. Yep, so you are gonna to wanna to turn these all off, right? So when you turn off reduce transparency, so when you get your iPad, it would be off. And that's when, see how the dock is like that? It basically, like when you pull down, it makes it, it's, it's a big delay um, because it's really struggling to, really struggling to uh, blur out your background. And if that's uh, that's gonna be a problem, and I don't know why it's reloading settings, but yeah, this is a perfect example. It's pretty slow. You remember right at the beginning when I opened it, it was nope. So obviously, uh, increased contrast or sorry, increased contrast and reduced transparency is something you're gonna want to have enabled because it really speeds up your iPad. Also, another thing you can do is on Spotlight Search, you can turn all these off. Um, to really improve now it is here's here's my thing I have something I don't know I kind of made this up it's basically like quality quality of device usage right so you can have really so let's say you have really high brightness on your iPad right let's say or your phone right you turn your brightness all the way up and have it up all the time you can see everything really great but your quality of device usage, you know, your quality of usage goes down because your battery life goes down. So for me, the goal is to keep the quality of use as high as possible, but keep the battery life consistent. So I use auto brightness to uh, maintain that for me. Uh, but so for quality of use on this device from 2012, you're gonna have, you're gonna wanna turn a bunch of stuff off. It's not gonna look as great but um, it's gonna function pretty smoothly. Now the Wi-Fi adapter in here is still from 2012, so it's not super, super speedy, but I'm able to stream Netflix and YouTube very far from like my router, uh, no problems. Um, but if you're, uh, if you're big into, you know, resolution and stuff like that, you're not gonna, this doesn't have a great display. I don't remember exactly what it is, I think it's, I'm not even gonna guess. It's it's not great. You'll notice a difference um, if you use regularly one of the newer iPads. But to me, it's not a big problem. Uh, it's pretty fast, and if I remember right, you can actually record 1080p video. I will check real quick, and it's I passed it. Whoops, right there. And as you can see, it's just a little bit laggy when you're yeah. So you can do 1080p at 30 frames per second. I don't know, it's not the best quality video, but it is 1080p. It does have the lightning adapter, which I should have mentioned. So it was the first, uh, that was right when they switched the iPads over to lightning adapters. So that would be the third iPad, third regular size iPad, first mini size iPad. And basically, I used this all summer just for as my, my daily driver. Um, I usually like to do stuff like Netflix and stuff on the on the computer, but I decided just this summer to go for this and just use the iPad and see if I can make it. Um, something I did is I downloaded all my Spotify music on here, which is super nice when you're in the car, uh, road trips, stuff like that. Um, 
and I think um, it also you know Snapchat works on it pretty well. It's a uh, it's a pretty heavy application, but I would say if you are looking for an iPad, um, I would get this iPad before you get any other iPad that's out there because the you can pick these up used, and it's still a it's still a really great device. If the if this slow tiny bit of slowness really really bothers you, then I'm sorry about that. Uh, then maybe this isn't for you. But personally, like since I've started this, right, I've been filming for about 15 minutes here, and we haven't gone down a single percentage. Um, we haven't gone down. Please focus. Focus. Thank you. We haven't gone down a single percent. So, and mark my words, as I say that, we'll uh, we'll go down. But it's a it's a it's a quality device. Um, the battery life is great. The um, uh, obviously, if you're gonna want to play, I have I play Extreme Road Trip 2 on here. That's really a game that I really play. Um, if you're going to want to be playing some heavier games, uh, like Infinity Blade, stuff like that, it's not going to work. But just for everyday things, like as you can see, you rotate it, it's instantly, you know, there's not a lot of, not a lot of wait time, right? Camera loads pretty fast. Um, just keep in mind that this device is not supported on iOS 10, which I'm kind of glad about. I'm not a big fan of iOS 10, but as you can see, multitasking is very fast, not a lot of delays. All you got to do is turn off the reduced transparency. So I would officially recommend the iPad Mini, uh, iPad Mini 1. Um, if you're looking to splurge a bit more, feel free to get the 2. But four years later, uh, I would say the iPad Mini 1 is still a very, very relevant device. Um, it'll be a long time before it's not really supported by applications, because uh, obviously iOS 10 just came out. So this, uh, this is a very good device, uh, stable, great battery life, a little bit on the slow side. That's just about it. Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.